kwa majina anaitwa Michael Kitheka Ngoka nafanya kasi ya leopard keeper Doti nimeanzana naye akiwa na kama wiki mbili mwezi wa tano mwaka jana baada ya kama miezi ine nikaanza kumtoa nje na kumtembeza porini polepole kufunza kufuata yeye nyuma My name is Meredith Whitney. I'm the Wildlife Rescue Program Officer at the International Fund for Animal Welfare. I'm here at Savo Sanctuary in Savo East National Park in Kenya with two scientists who are specialists in post-release monitoring. IFA is providing funding in support of Dottie's release to the wild because our vision is a world where animals are respected and protected. And we believe that Savo Sanctuary shares that same goal, and we see that now with, with the rehabilitation of Dottie. When she arrived, she was about one to two weeks old. Uh, her eyes hadn't quite fully opened. They were still very milky, unfocused, and just sort of starting to peel open. She was rescued by KWS rangers up in the northern side of Savo East National Park. And her mother was suspected to have been poisoned by villagers for stock theft. I'm Vanessa Moller, and I am running a project here, the Savo Sanctuary. We knew straight away from the onset that there would have to be a pre-release site inside the National Park and deep within inside the National Park. So it's not a case that we're going to be opening a gate and she's going to go flying off into the bush and, and that's it and we might not ever see her again. Typically they stay with their mothers or, and start to become or want to become more independent at 18 months to two years old. So she's sort of at a transitional stage in terms of she likes to wander off a little bit, come back a little bit. She's hunted for herself and had her own kills, um, successful kills. Um, I think, I feel anyway that she's in a good place right now for that. travel down to her pre-release enclosure in small teams, as small as we can manage to avoid stressing her. And each time we've gone down, she has shown an aversion to our presence. She has tried to get away, she's hissed at us, and this is exactly the behavior we want to see. We want to make sure that Dottie doesn't view people as friends, because that is not what a wild leopard should do. It's exactly the right idea for her to want to avoid us and to not want to be near us. And that will help her avoid conflict later on when she's on her own. Mimi kwangu si mkaidi, lakini kwa mtu mwingine ni mkali. Hapendi kuona mtu mwingine. Mimi ndio sasa wakati mimi natembea kama sasa tuseme ni wewe na kuja kusalimia yeye mpaka mimi nikuwe karibu. We're fitting Dottie with a collar so that we can collect better data on her rehabilitation. It's easy for anyone to say that they've done a successful rehabilitation just because they've kept an animal alive and have released it into the wild. But without data after the release to show what happens to that animal, to show that it is engaging in natural behaviors, that its activity and behavior patterns are similar to those of, of wild animals of the same species. We believe that it's impossible to say whether or not you have success. Every animal has intrinsic value. Conservation programs usually are focused strictly on the health of a population, and we believe that the health of an individual is equally important, and that is what they do here. They take individual animals, um, they rehabilitate them, and they release them back into protected habitat. I believe that individual animals matter just as much as a whole thing. I, 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 I just think it's very important for everything to have a chance to be what it's meant to be.